This video is sponsored by PageProof. Hi, I'm Erica Gamet for Creative Pro, and in this video, I want to show you a little sneak peek from my sessions on GREP that I'll be doing at Creative Pro Week 2022. This is just a simple way to automatically put negative dollar amounts in red. Let's start in the Find Change dialog box. And we can build this into a style later, but I just find it's a little easier to build and test my expressions in Find Change. Let's go ahead and select the text frame and target the search to just this story. Let's assume that all the negative numbers will start with a dash or a regular hyphen or minus sign, then followed by a dollar sign, then a whole number, no cents, no decimal, no thousand separator like a comma or a period. So whether we're looking for negative $1, negative $100, or negative $1,000, and it's written as so, we can build an expression for that. First, we need to find the hyphen, and that's easy. Just type the character. Unlike some characters, the dash isn't special in grep, and it doesn't need a backslash before it. The next character does, though. Since a dollar sign has special meaning in grep, to indicate a literal dollar sign, you have to enter a backslash first, and then a dollar sign. After each little bit, we can run the find to see if it caught everything we want. Right now, there's nothing in the change to field, so it will delete everything it finds. It will literally replace it with nothing. We needed to keep everything and just change the formatting. So in the change to field, put dollar sign zero, which means found text. And in the change format, choose a character style. I have one here that it changes the color to red. Click change all and the minus and the dollar signs all turn red. Let's undo that and finish the expression to grab the numbers as well. In grep, a digit can be written with a wildcard, and that's expressed as backslash D. You'll end up using this one a lot, but if you can't remember it, you can always go to the secret menu and choose wildcards, then any digit. Run the find again, and it finds just up to the first digit. We need to express that there might be more than one digit. So we'll go back to the secret menu and choose repeat one or more times run that search again, and it finds all of the negative numbers. Now let's build this expression into a paragraph style. Here we have a table with a column of numbers, both positive and negative, and we can see that we have a paragraph style assigned called totals. Let's go ahead and edit that style. First, I'll copy the expression that we wrote, then I'll edit the style, go into grep styles, click new grep style, I'll delete this information here that's already existing, and I'll paste in the expression we wrote, and then choose the character style we created. Click OK, and we can see that it's instant. If we put in a new negative amount that fits the pattern, it automatically turns it red. If we enter something that doesn't fit the pattern, it doesn't turn it red. Now we can add more to the expression to catch possible things like spaces, lack of a dollar sign on certain numbers, or thousand separators but that's for a whole nother video. Or you can come see my grep sessions at Creative Pro Week, and we'll look at exactly how to do that. Links and information are in the description below. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.